All right, Sean Tatel, FightHype.com, here with one of the top featherweight contenders in boxing, Mr. Adam Blue Nose Lopez, taking on Isaac Dobe, former world champion. Man, do you feel like if you could win this fight, it would be the biggest win of your career Saturday night? I definitely night? feel like this fight would push me a lot closer than I am to a world title. He's a former champ. I'm trying to make my name still. Um, these are the type of fights we need, um, type of fights boxing needs. It's a great fight on paper. You know, it's a great matchup. Our styles blend perfectly so i'm excited for it i'm excited to show you guys what i've been working on and do my thing saturday night you know going back to when he was able to get the knockout to win the world title against magdaleno what have you always thought about isaac dogbe he's a big he power puncher he, he could crack you know he got a big fighting spirit he fights with a lot of heart a lot of emotion um you know it's a big test big big uh, he's a big big threat he's a big competitor so um we put everything into this camp i'm ready to go Expect the best Adam Lopez Saturday night. You're always in exciting fights, but yeah. do you want to box more in this fight and this use fight, your length? Because, yeah, you know, we, early on I'm going to box. I'm going I'm to slow the fight down a little bit, but once I start getting him frustrated and break him down, I'm going to step on the gas pedal and see what he really got. And lastly, you know, obviously it's Saturday night's fight first, but when you saw Oscar Valdez have the success he did in such a big fight, did you say, I, I want my opportunity again? To fight yeah, I mean, I would love to get that opportunity, but I know I gotta, I gotta earn it. You know, I, I got that fight on a lucky night, one in a million. Who, who weighs in 11 pounds heavy on a fight? You know, that never really happens. And I just happened to be there. They offered me to fight, and I jumped on an opportunity. Now they know who they're working with. They expected to walk over me. Now they know I'm a real fighter, so I gotta earn that fight. I gotta get a, a, a title at 126, move up to 130, make a name. And be like, hey, I'm, I'm right here, Oscar. Let's, let's let's run it back. Even with what what you said about the circumstances in that fight, did you feel like you actually uh, gave a, a more competitive fight than Burchelt did? Definitely, yeah. definitely. I mean, he outboxed Burchelt all night, and I feel like I won every round with the Valdez fight, except for the, the round he dropped me in. And even that, I wasn't even hurt to where I think the ref should have stopped it. I, I was recovered at that time. Um, but yeah, I definitely think I gave him a better fight. I gave him a, a really tough fight, and he was frustrated. Thank you, man. Have a good press. There, anything else you want to say before fight night? Tune in, man. ESPN, June nineteenth. It's gonna be a great, great night of boxing.